Hey kids, look! It's Barricade, the cop car shaped gorilla! Ooh, ooh, ha, ha, I love bananas! I bet you do, Barricade. Wait, actually, do gorillas eat bananas? I don't. I'm not sure if I know for sure. Off to Wikipedia to find out! Hi guys, my name is Rich, and welcome to another Transformers action figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Barricade Deluxe action figure, Target exclusive version, that came out back with the original live action movie. Now this, the only thing that makes this different as a Target exclusive compared to the original Barricade is that Frenzy here is red instead of like the, the silver gray color like he was actually in the movie. Why they made him red, I don't know. They, they just kind of like, what the heck? It's like, hey, Target, let's ruin a good figure. Okay, let's just make it red. Whatever. Doesn't need to be accurate to the movie, which it's based on, but whatever. Uh, Frenzy here, kind of a lame figure, frankly. Um, he's really tall and skinny. The arms are just kind of like, what's the point? And there's just not a lot of detail into this figure at all. It is nice that they included him, I gotta say that. But as far as like anything else, it's just kind of like an afterthought or something. But... Uh, what's really cool, though, is you can go ahead and flip his head down, flip the arms down, rotate the legs up, and he does actually fit right into the grill of the car. So, actually, he is the grill of Barricade. So, that is pretty cool. I mean, you could use Frenzy to, like, make some steaks or, um, you know, burgers or something like that. Oh, wait, oh, grill, grill. I was, never mind. The grill of the car would just be the grill of the car. Yeah, anyway, that was lame. <laughs> Anyway, here is Barricade in his police cruiser mode. It actually says, if you can kind of read it, it says to punish and enslave, just like in the movie. That's pretty cool. Um, he doesn't have a license plate, so I'm not sure how he didn't get pulled over, but whatever. He's a cop, so he, you know, he, he can do what he wants. He's a boss. Um, pretty accurate, to I would think, to how it is in the movie. Uh, I, when he's in vehicle mode, he looks pretty cool. You flip him over, he's ugly as sin. Um, if sin is a color, it's this. It's ugly right here. It's, it's uh. So, don't look underneath it. As far as rolling, it rolls pretty good. Um, depending on how great you transform him back in the vehicle mode, you may have some problems, but he rolls pretty good. So, I think he is pretty cool. Alright, now, if you want to go ahead and transform this bad boy into robot mode, which is pretty interesting, what we're going to go ahead and do first, we're going to go ahead and disconnect both of the uh, brake lights from the whole rest of the car. Then we're going to go ahead and pull out this whole side section here from the front tire on both sides, kind of use that to pull it out, then you're going to swing it open, that's going to end up being the arms. Then uh, on the bottom of the vehicle, we're going to go ahead and pull forward the whole back section of the car, slide the uh, center part of it forward, lock it into place, that's going to end up being the center torso. We're going to finish the transformation of the legs first, disconnect them in the back, slide them uh, up, and then we're going to pull the legs down. Okay, kind of fix them a bit here. And if you want, no, that's how they need to be. <laughs> then there's a little bit of a flap panel that opens up here on the feet, so you can kind of have that going. All right, now for the rest of the vehicle. Go ahead and slide or rotate the whole side of the car down like so, so that creates the arms. Um, go ahead and flip the whole uh, front windshield of the car down. And we're going to open up these side panels here. Uh, the hood actually slides open and you can push open the head. And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to kind of slide it back in so that it closes around his neck, which I need to angle the camera better. Okay, there we go. Like that. You're going to rotate the front tire section around so it kind of looks all odd. And you're supposed to bring up, if you want, you can bring up the uh, windows for the driver and the passenger seat up. That's up to you if you want to like to angle them any particular way. And then the thumbs on his arms, you can just open up and boom, there you go. His hands also do open up a little bit more on the sides, so like if you wanted to, but it looks kind of stupid. Frankly, it does. Uh, this figure does not come with any weapons whatsoever, which is definitely a downside for me because I like my Transformers to have guns and stuff, but whatever. Uh, he does have one type of spring-loaded action right here. You can kind of see on his arm there's like a little trigger here. You just pull that back and out shoots his arm. Oh, isn't that awesome? Um, personally, I am not a fan of spring-loaded action of anything when it comes to action figures. I just find it to be a gimmick, and it really takes away from what could be better, and it won't stop opening! There we go. Stay like that. Uh, paint job-wise, not Hasbro's greatest. 
Uh, the detail of the figure is kind of lacking. In vehicle mode, it looks very, very good. But when you get him in robot mode, his face is detailed, but it's, I don't know, the colors kind of blend it together. Um, the arms here, the hands, not very great because they're like just this big chunk of plastic. Like this whole thing right here, why is this here? It's on both sides. There's no reason for that to be there. It's not a piece of the hand or anything, but it's still there. It doesn't flip or rotate or something to get rid of it. If they did get rid of that, this figure would look so much better. But now he's like, he's got huge chunks of car for both arms. So that I, I'm not a big fan of. Um, it is cool that they do include Frenzy, that he is transformable, that he does fit into the vehicle instead of just being whatever. But, you know, uh, articulation. The head can look up and down a smidgen cannot rotate to either side because of the way that the panels are locked in. Even if we open those up, let's see. You know, his head still does not rot rotate at all. The shoulder is a ball joint, so you can um, rotate the arm 360. And you can get a somewhat decent range of motion out. I mean, that's as far as he can extend his arm. That's pretty sad. But, you know, he does bend at the elbow. He has no hand articulation except that it opens and closes. whoop de doo uh, No waist articulation. The hips are on ball joints. So you can rotate the legs 360. You can kick the legs out pretty darn far. You can kick them forward, kick them back. Um, then if you bend at the knees, you can get a little bit more. So then the knees have a decent amount of articulation. Then the foot or ankle, I should say, is on a ball joint. So you can get a good range of motion out of that as well. So the legs actually have, even though they're kind of ugly... They do have a good range of motion, but then the arms just instantly just cut it back down because of the hands. So they look so stupid. Um, even if this figure didn't come with a weapon, because really you don't even see Barricade with a gun, you just see him with that, you know, uh, mace, um, ball and chain type device that he had, weapon that he had in the original movie. You know, he does look kind of scary though. When you get him down, he definitely seems more like Barricade, which was kind of like a gorilla. It kind of reminded me because his arms were so big. Um, that especially when he's kind of like this, he he just seems so buff on the top and not so much in the legs that he does remind me more of like a gorilla. So he is kind of cool and interesting, and he definitely looks more monster, which would fit with the Decepticons being you know really evil guys. Um, but overall, I'm gonna have to give him like a three out of five. I wouldn't recommend this figure for most people because transforming him back into vehicle mode can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, he doesn't have weapons. His arms have these big chunks of plastic things on them uh frenzy is nice to have but he's really ugly looking the paint job is blah so really i would give this guy a three out of five he's not the greatest i definitely would not recommend this for any children any children any little kids getting like if you're a parent or an older sibling you want to get this for like uh, somebody just be careful who you get it for because it is kind of difficult to transform and everything but um yeah so, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Barricade and I are going to go ahead and go watch some cop movies, and I'm going to laugh at him for being a loser. So, all right, talk to you guys again later. Oh, yes, comment down in the comment section about what you think about this figure, whether or not you like him or you hate him. You probably are going to side with me, I hope, and say that you hate him. But you probably won't because you're a rebel. <laughs> anyway, guys, all right, bye.